In this lesson, we'll take a look at the difference between an electron in hydrogen and electrons in multi-electron atoms. To determine the behavior of the electron in a hydrogen atom, there is only one interaction we take into consideration. That is, a single nucleus with a positive proton interacting with one negative electron. When it comes to multi-electron atoms, however, it's not nearly as simple. Let's take for example helium, which only has one more electron than hydrogen. In a helium atom, we have the interactions between our nucleus and two electrons, as well as the interaction between the two electrons themselves. The more electrons an atom has, the greater the number of interactions there are to consider. To date, we've come to understand that multi-electron atoms have orbitals just as the hydrogen atom does. These orbitals are also governed using the same quantum numbers as hydrogen. All the electrons of a multi-electron atom will go into these orbitals, occupying a certain region of space. Now though the orbitals and quantum numbers are equivalent, the increased number of interactions causes a few differences among these orbitals. Let's take a look at the energy level diagram for hydrogen. We can see that all orbitals with the same n, for example all 3s, 3p, and 3d orbitals, are in line with each other. This means they all contain the same amount of energy. Let's now see an energy level diagram for a multi-electron atom. We can see that all orbitals within the same n do not have the same energy. For example, the 3s orbital has less energy than the 3p orbitals, which have less energy than 3d orbitals. The same holds true for 2s orbitals and 2p orbitals. This is due to the electron-electron repulsions found in multi-electron atoms. Another important note is that the energy of each given orbital is lower in this diagram than in the hydrogen diagram. For example, a 2p orbital in a multi-electron atom has a lower energy than a 2p electron in a hydrogen atom. This is because the greater the number of electrons an atom has, the greater the attraction between the nucleus and the electrons. This greater attraction causes the atom to contract and decrease in energy.